All right, mother truckers. So we're out here. Where the hell are we, sir? Uh, we're in West Bend, Wisconsin, just outside of nowhere. <laughs> if you don't remember my man here, you know, introduce yourself again, sir. I'm Trevor Timlin with Blue Leasing Incorporated out of West Bend here. We got Trev in the front, owner of Blue Leasing. Great people over there. Dump trailer, dry vans, flatbeds, step decks, uh, reefers. So we're hauling stuff, whether it's new or on the way to get recycled. Where Grandpa's truck is to sit uh, in retirement. Tell like, the story a little bit. Where all the lights work and all that good stuff. Drag. Yeah, this is the one you like to shake trailers with. It's just got a little Detroit in it with a Super 10. 500 miles. 540 miles, yep. I first need to sand it and get all the pits out before I polish it because this over here we got the wash bay, another hot shot truck with uh that's a brand new 2021 trailer that they actually just this one's uh 1985. Got a big cam Cummins in it. It with a 6NZ CAD and an 18 speed and uh now all these look like show trucks. Are they show trucks or are they work trucks as well? They're working show trucks, really, you know. I mean, I'm not afraid to take any of these trucks out, and we keep such good care of our equipment where I'm not afraid to, if, you know, I needed to take a dry van load to Missouri or Miami or Mexico City, whatever, you know, I'll hop in it and take off. All you got to do is I'll wash them and polish them before we put them back away, you know. You know, if you don't remember, uh, you saw this sexy, beautiful ride here and uh, everyone loved it on the show. But today we are at headquarters, aren't we? Yeah, we're here uh, off of Sleepy Hollow Drive where all the trucks come to get worked on and washed and polished and parked for the night or the weekend. So, you know, let's, yeah, Trevor, let's walk around and just uh, talk a little history and uh, talk about what you guys do here. I know last interview, we kind of went through it a little bit and talked like you guys do a lot of energy drinks. Yeah, we do a lot of dry van freight, uh, we do a lot of scrap freight, we got dump trailers, dry vans, flatbeds, step decks, uh, reefers, so we're hauling stuff whether it's new or on the way to get recycled. Uh, you know, it, 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 this fleet looks beautiful, brother, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't need you to uh, tell me each one, but I mean, we gotta talk about some of these trucks if you don't mind, brother. Well, we got, we got a bunch of... Uh, He's walking. You go in front. Yeah. Go in front. Come on. We just bought a bunch of white day cabs here. I think they're 2013s. We got eight of them, and we're just letting uh, the guys pick out what color stripes they want, what color stacks they want. So a bunch of them have blue and black stripes or blue stripes, and they pick out the different stacks they want. And for the local guys, you know, you try to keep everybody happy. You try to keep uh, the trucks looking good, and it gives you, you know, a good feeling to drive stuff like that. Then we got a bunch of Western Stars that were all glider kits that you can't uh, even get a spot for anymore. But we got, I think, five Western Stars all with 6NZ cat motors in them. Uh, in your opinion, the best motor around? Yeah, best so far. I just got, uh, I'll show you later, the 2022 Peterbilt I just got with the X15 Cummins in it. So that'll be my first uh, experience with a urea coming so we'll see <laughs> that's great brother and we do a lot of uh heavy hauling on seven axles here in wisconsin we can uh legally gross up to 130,000 pounds with our recycle permit so that's where we do a lot of work out of the scrap yard across the street we've been with them for over 15 years uh moving recycled products back and forth so that's you know we talked off camera and you said you know you'll haul the energy drinks yeah, we'll haul the energy drinks when they're brand new coming out of the factory uh, in the dry vans and then we also haul them after they've been, the cans are recycled and cubed back down and squished into bundles and we'll haul them out to get melted back down. So both sides. <laughs> I'll tell you, full circle, right? Yeah. Uh, we got our own fuel station here for reefer fuel and on-road fuel. We got our own loading docks for uh, switching can loads around and, you know, if the neighbors need to use it, we let them use it. and. A full wash bay over there with two bays with, uh, what's that, fancy water reverse osmosis. 
to try to keep all the water spots, everything. And uh, we got a bunch of high school kids that come and wash every weekend. Every weekend, everything gets washed, and we keep a really tight service schedule. So, got to stay awesome. stay on top of everything. We got about, uh, I think we're up to like 15 or so dump trailers. We do. These a, look pretty new, brother. Yeah, they all are fairly new. Chorus. We do a lot of work with them out of Streeter, Illinois. Love Carlos. Great guy to work with couple different sizes we got the big tall ones for the, the light fluffy stuff we got the small ones to try to stay light for the heavier material Just try to keep a little bit of everything around because stuff's always changing and we want to be on top of what's got to move you know definitely got uh, a couple top kick trucks where we haul vacuum equipment around and uh, pintle hitches and we got uh, two dualies for moving their stuff around uh, we got aggregate trailers for hauling sand and stone for the concrete plants. Rock trailers for hauling the big boulders. Like there's a big job going on down now in, uh, by Lake Michigan. A bunch of the shore eroded away. So we're hauling big boulders down there to replenish the shoreline down there. Here's where Grandpa's truck gets to sit uh, in retirement. Okay. Tell the story a little bit. So, so my grandpa bought this truck brand new in 1982. Uh, it used to be brown with brown interior, and he sold it after a while. And we actually found the guy that he bought it from. So technically, we're the first and third owner of the truck. It's on its third motor, <coughs> uh, big Cam Cummins, 13 double over. It's walking. Yeah. So we bought it back. The guy, it used to be brown, he repainted it uh, like a silver, and it was just more of a spray paint job, so we stripped it down. The truck actually has all new frame rails from front to back, new uh, Peterbilt suspension, and new paint job. Uh, pretty much like a brand new, uh, what would that be, almost 40 years old now? That's crazy. Is there, I, I hate to ask, but could we look at the interior? Yeah. Look at that, brother. Still got the VHS tape player in the back just to keep it retro. <laughs> I mean, these things are huge too. I mean, this this is your bed. You got a queen size bed back here. She she's a big bitch. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. You know, uh, at this grandpa's truck bit. Do you ever drive it yourself? Oh yeah, my dad loves to drive it through all the parades, and actually. Uh, once we got done restoring it, I drove it for a whole summer just to bang around in it. And it, it's a cool feeling, you know, got the arm out the window, feeling like you're back in the 80s and uh, making Grandpa proud. So we got his name on the back of the sleeper there. That's beautiful, man. This, this truck is so priceless. Yeah, we got, uh, we got them from all over here. That's a 2017 Pride and Class Edition 389. Also a glider kit with a 6NZ CAD and an 18 speed, and uh, that's just sitting there. Uh, let's walk it, let's go. Let's check it out. It's like a museum in here, brother. Yeah, we got everything's out right now, getting washed, otherwise everything's packed in here. But I think this one's uh, just sitting here collecting value, hopefully. So <laughs> collecting like, value, I love that. It's got about 7,000 miles on it, I mean, chromed out. That's the pride and class comes with that nice steering wheel and nice seats and just keeping it nice, you know. Wait, what year is this? This is a 2017. 2017, yeah. 7,000 miles? Yeah. I took it to uh, a, two shows in Joplin and uh, other than that, she just gets to sit and relax until I need to use it. I heard that. Now, all these look like show trucks. Are they show trucks or are they work trucks as well? They're working show trucks, really, you know. I mean, I'm not afraid to take any of these trucks out, and we keep such good care of our equipment where I'm not afraid to, if, you know, I needed to take a dry van load to Missouri or Miami or Mexico City, whatever, you know, I'll hop in it and take off. All you got to do is I'll wash them and polish them before we put them back away, you know. It's beautiful, bro. There we got the, the press brake. And the bead roller for when I get to sometimes make uh, custom light bars and stuff when I got time to screw around. 
We gotta. I gotta come back on a day when you when you're doing some fun projects. Yeah, I cut my hand up yesterday. Oh, uh, did you? <laughs> I'll show you the light bar I made on that last night. Let's look at closer to these uh, big heavy hauls right here, man. They look great, brother. What are the specs on these bad boys? Uh, those are more of the the trucks are the 2013s. They got the MX13 Packard motors in them with 10 speeds. Just nice light trucks for hauling boulders and the short-sided trailers. Uh, the tall trailers we haul a lot of sheet iron or uh, stainless, you know, stuff that's not very dense and you got to get a bunch of it in it uh, where you can't make weight with the lighter trailer. Uh, Got a couple flatbeds over here for hauling uh, tanks and like uh, milk tanks and RGN over there. We used to haul a bunch of military equipment because Oshkosh truck isn't too far from us up Highway 41 there. We used to haul a lot of them until the bigger, cheaper carriers started getting in there and ruining it for everybody. So I'm sure everybody listening knows how that goes. Yeah, definitely. We used to have uh, over 20 reefer trailers back when we were hauling vegetables and a uh, bunch of stuff. And now we're actually down to, we only got two two reefers left. Just trying to stay on top of what's got to go and stuff isn't getting used. It goes to the auction and we get more stuff that is getting used, you know. Last time we talked off camera, you have about 30 trucks in your fleet. Is that about right? Yeah, we got about 30 working trucks and a couple more uh, retired trucks, if you will. Yeah, I heard that. And then how many trailers? <sighs> oh, I bet you we got almost 40, at least 40 trailers probably, a little of, some, a little of everything with the hot shots and the dry vans and the dump trailers. and. That's cool, man. You know, uh, one advice for uh, people that want to start a trucking company, I mean, you guys seem so diversified. I mean, is that the key? Yeah, I mean, you got to stay diverse. I mean, we, like... I love to do business with the scrapyard over across the street and you know one day some guy comes in and thinks that uh, he's from a big city and he doesn't want to do things the small town way so he wants to get different uh, different carriers in there hauling my freight so I got to find something else to do so you know grab something else and go try to make money doing something else you know you can't uh, you can't tell another person how to run their business all you can do is stay on top of your game and try to make the most money you can any way you know any way you can you know. No, I love that, man. You know, um, last time we didn't get a great chance to talk about, you know, really how you got your start in this. Uh, you know, it sounds like uh, grandfather paved the way. Yeah, grandpa started the company. Uh, I want to say he had a lot more trucks than we had now back then. And uh, I think he passed on and my grandma didn't want much to do with it. So my dad took it over. And I remember it being back when he had only maybe five ten owner operators running around with reefers and dry vans and then we just started uh trying to grow the business and doing more of a little bit of everything and now you know we're up to 30 some trucks that's great brother you know uh how much of the operations are, are you doing are you mostly in the truck driving these days so i'm usually driving a heavy haul truck every single day and while i'm driving i'm also dispatching a bunch of the local drivers and dad does a lot of the dispatching of the over the road drivers and uh the longer stuff so he's mostly in the office all day and he's shagging trailers back and forth to the scrap yard and over to the steel mill and stuff. But I'm usually in the truck most of the time, but some days when I'm not in the truck, I get to mess around in the shop and uh, help out with services and work on some custom stuff, you know. Yeah, I love that, brother. And so, you know, uh, if people are interested in getting a job, uh, are you hiring? What's going on? Yeah, we're always hiring, man. We need people. We need guys that uh, keep a clean truck don't mind working uh you want to make a bunch of money i can make you a bunch of money but you got to work for it you know and we're not giving any handouts but there we do have a sign-on bonus right now for uh i believe it's like two thousand dollar sign-on bonus that gets paid out monthly as long as you're here for at least a year so we need drivers uh even if you got no dump trailer experience no heavy haul experience uh we can put you in a dry van but usually uh if you call me and tell me there's something you want to do, I'll try to find you that run and I'll keep you busy doing it, you know. 
I love that, brother. You know, and uh, is this all local work, or what are you looking for mostly? Anything. We're looking for over the road guys. We're looking for regional guys. We're looking for guys. If you just want to go back and forth to Chicago every day, you want to stay in Wisconsin. We'll find. We got Wisconsin freight. Uh, anything you want to do, we're looking for guys. You know, and when I look at your beautiful trucks, brother, I mean, the way you keep uh, care of your trucks. You know, I'm thinking that you probably do even better taking care of your drivers. We try to. Uh, it's hard to find drivers right now that want to work, and everybody wants a hourly job where they don't have to do much, but we pay a lot of our guys percentage, and uh, the more you work, the more you're going to make, and you want to make money, we can we can get you money, you know? I heard that, brother. You know, uh, I'll put down your email or your work number. Yeah. And all you mother truckers, I mean, you know, uh, Trevor's one of the most humble guys, man. He's out here with y'all. He's working just like y'all, and, you know, uh, you know, where's that humbleness come from, brother? Just what I've been doing since I was a kid, you know. What Dad says, uh, you're bored at home, come wash trucks, come sweep the parking lot, you know, stay busy, find something to do. I love it, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, so, yeah, let's go inside and let's see what we're playing on. So, yeah. what we got going on this week, brother? Oh, uh, right now we're getting ready for the Wapan Truck Show coming up this weekend. So, we're going to try to head up there later today. So, everything's kind of getting... Uh, Last minute beauty touch up and polish and washes and lights, making sure all the lights work and all that good stuff. And there we got a, a 99 cab over that we're getting ready to take to the show. Dad uses that to go back and forth. Uh, let's walk it, let's walk it, let's take it out. Trevor, come on, man. So this is uh, Dad's truck that he loves to drive? Yeah, this is the one he likes to shag trailers with. It's just got a little Detroit in it with a Super 10, so it ain't really meant for hitting the highway and pulling uh, heavy loads. But just getting the interior all buttoned up. We just put all brand new carpet in it, brand new seats, uh, door panels. And, you know, we, we pretty much rip everything out of every truck and start over. <laughs> We got uh, two more of the 2813 389s, 388s in here. Uh, you know, come in here, you get your stacks, your visor, your lights, your hydraulic kit, new tires. Disaster uh, here. I won't show that. I won't show that. We're walking. I can step on this. Yeah. So, out of your 30 trucks, I mean, your fleet is pretty much fully custom. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I don't think we have a single truck in the in the fleet that we haven't messed around with. But this will be my daily truck that I've been working on every once in a while to get done. Uh, 2022 389. It's got the new Cummins in there that I was telling you about in the 18 speed. So this will be one of my heavy haul trucks. Uh, just about done with the interior. Got these brand new interior panels from uh, Easy Pete Interiors. Pretty nice kit. They come, come right in, screw them right in. Uh, everything fits up nice. So this one's only got 540 miles on it so far, but by the time I'm done with it, we'll, she'll be heavy hauling up and down the highway every day. I love that, brother. I mean, is there enough room to pop the hood and possibly check out this new motor? Yeah, we might be able to. You got to watch out for the rims and all that. Yeah. Five hundred miles. Five hundred forty miles. Yep. That's the new X15 Cummins, the 605 with the big torque rating. I uh, got the PDI intake manifold on the other side, the stock turbo and exhaust manifold for now with the PDI tuner that goes in the dash. 20,000 pound front end, 20,000 pound pusher axle, 46,000 pound rear axles. She's a, she's a heavy hauler. Trying to get everything buttoned up with the deck plate and the airlines and the wet kit and all that stuff for put her to work. It looks great, man. Right? Yeah, it looks great. Back here we got uh, our polish machines. So that's how we keep all the rims so shiny on everything. Essentials back here polishing wheels. That guy can make you shiny. We got uh, we take in wheels on trade. Uh, we, you can bring your old dirty ones in. You want to leave right away with some new ones. You bring them in. We'll swap them out with you. You can buy wheels straight off of us. You can drop yours off. We've had guys drop their whole trucks and trailers off here. 
and uh, we polish their, take their wheels and tires off, polish the wheels, throw everything back on. That's the guy there that uh, makes all the shiny. Maybe we can show a little bit of what's going on. Where are we at with this right now? May show a little bit? Yeah. Right now, right yep. now I'm sanding the wheel. I first need to sand it and get all the pits out before I polish it because if I, if I polish it without taking the pits out, it's going to look shiny, but a lot of a lot of black pits on it. Yeah, see all the pits and everything. So it's a pretty cool machine. They go on a turntable in there and it's a uh, different axis. It spins forward and backwards and then you rotate the wheel and all you gotta pretty much do is he hangs on to the handlebar and uh, move the bar up and down. You got sand, you got sanding pads, you got uh, polishing pads, you got bristle pads. So how many years have you been polishing Asensio? Four, three years. Three or four years. Yeah. yeah. He's got, he's got the process I'll tell you, uh, for the ones that want to do it themselves, any uh, quick tips for them to get the wheels almost as shiny as you get them? Probably keep sanding more. I you love need, that, man. Yeah, you need, <laughs> you need to sand more. Just bring them here and let a sense do it. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I love that. I appreciate you, brother. Yep. Have yep. a good day. Yep. Man, where am I at? The Willy Wonka? Yeah, a little bit of everything. We got the... Stack kits laying around, tires laying around. We're going in and out of the scrap yard. We go through a ton of tires. Over here, we got the wash bay, another hot shot truck with a, that's a brand new 2021 trailer that they actually just picked up. Nice guys, man. Yeah. Oh, over here, we got my chop top day cab. I'm just getting polished up, getting ready to go to the show. I don't know if you've seen this one yet. No, I haven't seen it. That's why I'm here, man. That's why I've traveled far and wide. Yeah, this one's uh, 1985. Got a big Cam Cummins in it with a 13 speed. Chop the top, four inches. Total repaint, uh, new suspension on the back. Original door panel, interiors, original dash, original headliner. The only thing that's different is the wheel and the seats and the carpet. Still smells like the 80s. <laughs> I love it, brother. Damn. Gotta walk around. Yeah, Dave's getting Dad's trailer all polished up for the show for the weekend. Is Dad gonna be at the show too? Yeah, Dad should be there if he can find some time. I know he likes to take Grandpa's trucks to the parade and everything. Beautiful. Yeah, got the loading docks back there, the forklifts, uh, way too many Dynaflex stacks sitting around, bumpers, uh, you got a pretty big chrome inventory. That's Dad's uh, 379 Legacy Edition. We got done with that uh, maybe a year ago. We like to collect the collectible Peterbilts, you know, your X's, your Legacies, your classic number What number of Legacy is this? I believe this is five... 536, I believe. Because how many legacies did they make? I think they made a thousand. Just a thousand, right? Yeah. So this is number 536? Yeah, that's got a cat in it with an 18 speed and it's a big stereo. Got a whole new fresh paint job. I heard that, man. It's beautiful. Try to keep the theme going with the, the blue and the stripes and everything, you know? Tell me this, brother, you know, why do you guys feel, you know, some people say, Chrome, don't get you home, blah, 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 yeah. blah. What, what are your thoughts on wh why do you guys take so much pride in making these trucks the best they can look? You know, customers remember you when you come into a place and you got a nice shiny truck and, you know, some customers, it gives them a good feeling that their truck's going to get, or their uh, product's going to get taken care of with a guy that takes pride in his ride. You know that you're going to take care of uh, the product on the way you're going to drive careful because you don't want to wreck your truck, uh, you know. They like uh, their product getting moved and nice equipment instead of a, you know, a dirty old truck that hasn't been washed or greased ever and who knows if it's even going to make it there, you know. And you like to give the guys incentive to want to come to work, you know, you put a smile on their face driving a nice truck, they get compliments going down the road and it just makes you feel good, you know. Hey, and that's what it's about, man. You know, this is definitely a lifestyle, huh? Yeah. I love it, brother. I love it. Anything else at, at, at Blue Leasing that we should show people? I think we made almost a full lap. Uh, we did good? Yeah, I think we did good. We got uh, 
too much stuff here and need more guys to drive the stuff around. <laughs> I heard that, man. Hopefully we can help with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I appreciate you. Like, like I always tell all you mother truckers, man, really great quality people here. Thank you. You know, I mean that, man. You know, I, I wouldn't just stop by if I didn't think so. I was surprised when you walked in the door. I ain't nobody, brother. <laughs> I ain't nobody. I'm just hanging out. Um, no, we're good to go. I appreciate you, as always. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah.